What's up YouTubers? Back from a very busy schedule at RSA Conference 2024. Whilst the rest of you were scrabbling around talking to vendors and grabbing free t-shirts and swag, myself and the team were interviewing some of the vendors who were exhibiting at the event, gaining some insights from them, not just on what their products do, but where the problems are in the market and how they're addressing them. This first episode for any developers out there is an absolute must see. Night Vision, um, I think, personally, are the first company out there I've heard who are truly shifting left into the developer space. So join me where I interviewed Kinnaird McQuaid, the CTO and founder of Night Vision, with a special cameo appearance by George Prince, their CEO. If you want to find more out about Night Vision, check them out in the comments or the description on the YouTube show here. Or again, reach out to them, nightvision.net. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in and keep your eyes peeled for the next episodes. See you soon. So at Night Vision, we build gray box dynamic testing. So we scan the code before we test it for exploitable vulnerabilities. And then we, when we find vulnerabilities, we trace it back to code. I was, I was, I was really pissed off at the, at the problem space. Yeah. And I like really challenging problems. And um, I was exper uh, what led to it was I was experimenting with making Dast really fast just as a side project. And then when I started at um, I started at Square, three weeks later, Log4j hit. And then I was responsible for finding all our external instances of Log4j. Uh, I was sweating hard because there were all these small family business, not just it's my job, but there's also all these small family businesses that depend on Square to be secure. And uh, this tool that everybody else was using to scan for it took eight hours to run against all our external endpoints. And I, need, I, need, I needed to be able to click a button, hit refresh, and know that we, a developer said, hey, I fixed it. I need to be able to verify. Uh, so I went to my manager and I said, you guys know I have this side project. Let me build this in my tool and run on Square infrastructure. And uh, I got that in writing. <laughs> and then I ran it and we got results in 30 seconds. And that's when I realized I needed to start a company. And then it's grown into so much more since then. And when was that? I was in, it was Log4j, late 2021. 20, 20, yeah. yeah, and then we, we got funded in okay. August. And at the very beginning, it was just, how can we run Dast really fast? And But we talked to all these customers, right? And their pain points were a lot deeper than that. They were frustrated with static analysis, where you hear a lot about how, especially with ASPM and CSPM, companies are really tired of having all of these alerts. And then you had, in the CSPM space, you had companies like Wiz and Orca who helped you focus on things that present more active risk to your environment because they're reachable from the internet and exploitable, right? In the AppSec space, we don't really have that. We have static analysis and that creates lots of false positives or even if they're, they match a rule, they don't actually trace back, they don't actually lead to an exploitable vulnerability, right? And then DAST, it, you can verify that it's exploitable, but it doesn't make an actionable. Right. And so that creates a lot of developer churn and wasting their time. Right. And then a bad relationship between security and development. There's enough of that anyway. Yeah. 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 And so I'm part of the Fumbaya DevSecOps crew. Right. And so I want everybody to get along and we build something where, uh, where we analyze the code and then we test it and we trace back the code and, uh, it makes better use of developers time and it's, it's easier for pen testers when you're able to automate away all the menial stuff, right? And then you can focus on the coolest things. I want all developers to be able to run our tool without having to understand how it works, just from, you know, in a make file, right? And just run make night vision. And then if there's an exploitable vulnerability, they go grab a cup of coffee. If there's an exploitable vulnerability, then it shows up and they know they can fix it and they don't have to wait until it's in production or until it runs through their, uh, their end to end tests and, um, uh, in a pipeline for security to chase them down. Right. I want to democratize security testing.
So developers don't want to have to log into another portal, let alone a security person's portal. They want any time that there's a security issue for it to be raised within their within their workflow. So whether that's GitHub security alerts and a pull request comment and the equivalents within Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, GitLab, et cetera. So a big problem that nobody talks about is that is with REST APIs and API documentation. So based on our customer research, about 70 to 90% of REST APIs are totally undocumented or poorly documented. If you wanna document an API, you need to install the third-party dependency, annotate your code, make code modifications. You have to have code knowledge in order to do that. And then uh, in some cases, you even have to maintain the YAML contents inside the code comments for the function in order to document it. It becomes instantly unmaintainable, um, not usable by other developers, and definitely not useful for security. And security tools, DAS tools, they can't test an application without understanding the API contract, how to communicate with it. Not just the endpoints, but the parameters too, right? So, uh, so there's 70 to 90% of REST APIs, not only are they not documented, they're not tested for security issues. And so with night vision, we're able to see things other people can't. We're able to test all those REST APIs. So the things that you didn't know were there, the attack surfaces that are not being identified, the vulnerabilities that are not being identified, we're able to test those. And then when we find a vulnerability, we'll trace it back to the line of code. So you get that full end-to-end -end experience and it'll illuminate your vulnerabilities. And besides this weekend, half the content was about AI. We were all talking about AI. What, when I talk to AppSec leaders, they're really concerned. The, there's a lot of cool talk about prompt injection and other things, and that's fascinating. But people are really concerned with the garbage code that developers are putting out, and they're putting it out faster. So way faster. Like for, As an industry with security, we were already not able to keep up with the pace of development with DevOps, with the cloud, with CICD. And then now, overnight, seemingly, developers are spitting out code four times faster. They're so much more productive and it has way more bugs, right? And so we have to, we already couldn't keep up with the pace of security testing. Now we need to keep up even more. So there's a renewed focus on um identifying all the attack surfaces and um and prioritizing exploitability and actionability and so that's what we want to do couldn't be better timing we have we have a new security product a new security tool it's not just about the tool though it's about it's about the approach and like uh, and running your application security program right um, when I was in consulting, I would talk with companies all the time where they're just focused on the vendor, whatever the vendor's telling them, right? This night vision, night vision, what we do for customers, follows a more modern philosophy of paved roads, security guardrails, providing services for developers so that they can ship code faster. So security isn't a blocker for them, but an enabler for them. And when we find, and so that we can find vulnerabilities quickly and squash those bugs quickly. We have combined SAST and DAST to get the best of both worlds. Historically, SAST has had a few shortcomings. One is it's only looking at the code in run, uh, statically, not in runtime. DAST has had even more shortcomings because it takes a long time to set up a scan, a long time to run a scan, it doesn't tell you where in the software in the software the problem lies, and it struggles quite a bit with APIs that aren't documented. What Night Vision has done is they combined it and solved for all those issues. So one, we oh another problem is false is false positives with SAST, right? So all that noise. So what we've done is we've taken that setup of the scan from hours down to four or five clicks in 10 or 20 seconds, any developer can do it. We've taken the scan time from hours to about three to 12 minutes, any developer can do it. You couldn't figure out where the vulnerability was in the past, you just knew you had one. We figured out how to tell you the line of code where the problem is. 
documenting APIs takes hours, days. We figured out how to document an API in five to 20 seconds automatically. So the big change, the big op opportunity here is it's always been security engineers that had to do all this work because it was so skilled and so long and so complex. We've made it so any developer can do it in four or five clicks, get a cup of coffee, come back, there's your answers, go. You can solve everything in 10, 20 minutes, and you can do it at a price level that any developer can afford. So what's different is we're going to solve it truly left, shifting left, not just talking about it, but we actually have the ingredients to, and the pricing and the ease to do it. Because it's all the SaaS and DAS companies who talk about shifting left, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So you have a bag there, Rapid7. So it's free. Yeah. You, I don't blame you. So typically you have all these great companies. And by the way, we don't want to compete with them. We want to work with them. Okay. You have all these great companies that have all these different tools. They have a suite of products. DAST has been the ugly stepchild, right? Because it just takes so long, so complex. Nobody likes to do it. It's a job that, eh, right? SAST only can cover so much because it's only looking at the static analysis or the static code, and it has all these false positives, right? No one wants to deal with these things. We've changed that by making it easy, fast, just a feature almost. And in the past, this has been a very expensive endeavor. Think about it. If, if you have a security engineer who's getting paid $100 an hour, just to pick a number, $80 an hour, we're talking about selling a product for $80 a month. You can use it as many times as you want, right? Per user. I'm sorry? Per user. Per user, right? So something that was taking you, we had a customer the other day tell us that they had a job that took them over two and a half hours every time they did it uh, with a person, a skilled person had to run it. They used our product. They did it in eight minutes automatically, right? So that paid for itself immediately in one time. So you talked about the SMB opportunity, right? We've been hearing all sorts about how these people are at risk. They don't have the budgets. They don't have the personnel. They don't have the knowledge. Don't. Plug in night vision, hit the button, see your results in Git, uh, GitHub or wherever you want to see them. Boom. That's my, I have a critical issue and a high issue. I can solve those right now. I'm good to go.